Welcome back to the devlog. Today we're going to continue looking at Android development in Unity and this time I want to focus on something that has puzzled me for some time and I have finally worked it out. So I wanted to share it with you um, and share it for posterity for when I forget later. That is, how do I upload the symbol files when I upload my build to the Google Play Store? You might ask, why would I want to do that? Well, if uh, there is a, is a bug and there's a crash and some user gets a, gets a crash, that'll generate a crash report. And that crash report can come back to us as developers. We can re look into those, look at them. And if the symbols are included, we can see the call stack of what it was that was going on at the time that that user had their problem. And maybe we can use that to figure out what the issue is and fix it in a patch for future versions. So it's certainly helpful to have that. And um, Google allows you to upload those. So we want to take advantage of it. Let's see how to do it. I'll be showing the Spur Prompt project for this one. And this project is small enough. We do not have to do the... Uh, the asset bundle packing that I was showing with the previous package. This, the entire package fits and is small enough that we could upload it as a single package. So let's see how to build that using Unity. Just using the standard Unity um, dialog, you can build this if you've got all your settings set up. Um, we will want to build the app bundle. Definitely want that checked. And it doesn't come checked by default, but you want to create a symbols zip file. So we'll go ahead and build that. Uh, ready to go. I'm going to put it in the build folder. And I just happen to, this is my, num, my naming convention. I use the year 2022, the month, February, the date, the 13th. And then I put an A for the first version I did today. All right. So let's wait for that to build. So welcome back. The build has finished. Let's take a look at what we got. We have here our AAB file. We'll be uploading that directly into Google Play. And as soon as that upload has finished, you then have the opportunity to add the zip file that contains the symbols. Now this would appear to be the file that's side by side with the AAB file. However, it depends on which version of Unity you're currently in. If you're in the latest version of Unity, you're fine. That's the zip file that you want. In fact, actually, there's, there's one other checkbox you need to check. We'll look at that in a minute. What if you're in an older version of Unity? What do you need to do? Why is that different? Uh, for some reason, Unity has chosen not to back in their fix for this into older versions. So if you have a game built in an older version of Unity, for example, this is 2018.4.13. In this particular version, let's take a look at what we get inside the symbol file. Let's open it up. It's just a zip file. Here we are. Here's the contents. Let's unzip those and we'll just put them side by side right in that same folder. All right, we get two folders because I have selected to build both the ARM7 and the ARM64 architecture. And inside each one are three files, the sodebug, the sim, and the sim.so file. And we'll see that's in both of the different architectures. What do we do to fix these? Step one, delete the debug file from both. We don't want the debug file. Step two, you need to rename these extensions. Google doesn't want it to be called .sim. It wants it to be called .so. So we'll change it. Change that one. And this one that says sim so, that'll confuse it to just call it so. Okay, and let's do that for both architectures. This one becomes so. And this one becomes just .so. Next, we need to zip that back up. Um, I, and this is a mistake that I made. I put them both into a folder and then zip that folder. Google will not take that. It has to be just like it was. If we look at this again, 
Inside the zip is two folders immediately inside there. So let's zip up these two folders just like that. Just select them. And then if you right click, you can send to zipped folder. It's built right into Windows. You don't need anything fancy. Okay. There we go. This, that is the zip file that you need to upload. And so far, Google has been accepting that. Um, so that's the trick. Now, I mentioned it's a little bit different if you're using modern versions of Unity. If you've got um, version 2021.1 and newer, you don't have to do those shenanigans. Instead, you can just use Unity's base interface directly. So here is my stream test example, and I am in 2021.2.8. So that's newer than the 0.1 version. And if I go here to the build settings, let me show you where that is. Um, right underneath the build app bundle checkbox, which you definitely have, is the create symbols.zip dropdown. And now it's not checkbox, it's a dropdown, and we can choose which symbols we want. I believe it defaults to disabled, which is no symbols. We're going to want our symbols, so we'll choose public. And the we, we do want, by the way, we do want public, not debugging. The debugging symbols includes extra symbols that we would need uh, for ourselves. We just want the public ones, the ones that we're going to upload to the public server. So if you are using the base Unity dialog box to do your build, you just hit build right from here and you're ready to go. On the other hand, if you're using those asset packs, those asset bundles that we talked about in the previous video, then you'll need, need to go to the Google build, and build menu and build from there. Let's do that. Stream test, build Android. Uh, and let's build it. a stream test. 220213A. And let's see how that turns out. All right, and it's finished. Let's take a look at what we got. Here we are. We have the AAB file, and right next to it, the zip file that Unity happily made for us. Let's take a look at what's in there and make sure it conforms to our rules. Okay, we once again have the two architecture folders, and in there now, only the .so files. I also noticed there's three of them here instead of the two that we used to get. Um, so far, that seems to work just fine. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you do the, the symbol file for Android if you're doing a Unity build. If you're using a modern version, if you've kept up to date, this is no problem. Just check the Dropbox uh, and that will generate you exactly what you need. If you're on an older build, prepare to be frustrated by that. You will have to unzip the stuff and make those changes to the extensions and then re-zip it before you can upload. Okay, that's it for tonight and I'll see you out there.